Another constraint is the look at constraint. What we want to achieve is that the front wheels of this uh, car are looking at this dummy. So if I move this dummy, these will rotate and follow the dummy and it looks like it's steering. So that's what we want to do. So how does it work? Here we go. We select one of the wheels. We go to the animation menu, constraint, look at, rubber band and select the dummy for the steering purpose. Well, you can see something is happening, which is not good, but we'll have a look at the settings and how we can resolve this. So of course you can work with multiple targets, we're just using one target and that's this one. So that's why this one is grayed out. This one is pretty useful, keep initial offset, and you can see the wheel flips in place, turning back to its original position. If you want to do it manually, you can do it down here. You can do set orientation, and then rotate the wheel that way and if you now move it you can see it works as expected but that's the manual solution for this so this one resets it back to where it was we got a view length here so you can see this blue line it is a line pointing towards your target this is kind of a helpful line um, Keep initial offset, I'll turn it on. Of course you got axis, which axe needs to be aligned and how should it be aligned? Well, of course, obviously it's the x -ax. Um And you got a whole bunch of settings for basically the up node control and everything related to it. Up node has to do with if I move this one around, you might see your object uh, flipping at a certain point in time. That's because it is trying to align these two and then at a certain point the local Z axis are totally the same so he doesn't know if it's up or down or right or left or whatever so it starts flipping. You can see that every now and again. We'll go in that solving those kind of problems in a later stage in a more complex uh, rig but for now this will do. So if we just finish the steering part so this one animation constraint take a look at look at the same object flips out of control again, say keep initial offset and now if you do this you can see both wheels are following and looking at the dummy constantly so it looks like it's steering. That's basically it for this one. Uh, I'll be back with more complex rigs using all these kind of constraints but that will be at a later stage. Okay, thanks. Cheers.